What's up ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Pendle here with us play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time Part 23. We're here in front of Up in Smoke and I'll go ahead and start it. And now there is a trophy, which is, uh, uh, there is a, oops, no. oh, you messed it up, but, uh, there, there is a trophy, there is, there, there is, there are trophies that are, uh, episode specific. I, I missed. Uh, but ah, crap! I missed it. Oh no! I guess I could. Uh, this is the uh, this is episode the the episode five specific trophy. Uh, where you have to. Oh, and I guess there are uh, two of those uh, in this episode. But uh, anyway. You have to not, I, I believe, you cannot take damage at all from, uh, from anything, which is, isn't that, which isn't that difficult, you know, I, I just, I'm just not paying attention, really, I'm more focusing on it, since, since I already have the trophy, uh, it's actually a very easy trophy to get, and you can see, uh, after taking damage twice, I haven't taken damage at all. But of course, this will become more and more difficult as we go on. So that will be that it will be come it will become harder and harder to dodge the missiles. But thankfully, we don't have to uh, do we don't have to do the the bombs or drop the smoke bombs in in any particular order, and we don't have to do uh, actually follow Salim. So that does make this a little bit easier. At, at least right now, I, I, I don't remember exact for sure. Uh, you know, if, if we don't have to follow Selene, that's kind of a, a as much as I'm I'm happy that we don't have to if that is the case. That seems kind of like a missed opportunity, you know, they could kind of, especially with the way the jobs in this episode have been going, they could have uh, bundled both of those jobs together. And you can see just just by not not really following uh, following the, the compass arrow, uh, you can actually do a lot better to, to try to stay, uh, to, to avoid damage than if he was just uh, then if you were following the compass because the compass seems to purposely lead you in the path of some of these missiles and you want to be be easy with the amount of boost to use you don't want to burn it all up at once and have you know two or three missiles really close to you about to hit you uh, you do want to you know pay attention to where the missiles are coming from you don't want to stay in a wide group of them. It seems like it, the farther away you stay away from the the turrets, the, that seems to be the best uh, the best strategy.
mean the overlap uh, Bentley is what Bentley was saying but it's you know pretty much the same thing just uh, different words so kind of like everything else if this is if this is the last one this will this will be the hardest one that we've had to do so far ah crap I, sh I shouldn't have taken damage there that was uh, I shouldn't have I should I shouldn't have tried to push it I, I guess I'm just used to having a full full I uh, you know full level so um I'm not a uh, I'm uh, definitely taking a lot more risks than I should. For no reason, I should already be level three by now. To be totally honest, ah, crap! There's a bunch of those guys that hang on the wall. You just have to pay attention to everything that's around you. Especially if you're having trouble leveling, you want to definitely pay attention to where all of the uh, leveling, or whatever the, le the leveling items are. I'm not sure exactly what to call them. Ah, crap. I should, again, I shouldn't have taken damage there, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully I'll be able to make it to level 10 by the time I fight the boss, but there is no guarantees. At least I should have plenty of grenades. Be careful. There we go. Now I believe if you do get if you do get caught on on, on, on the wall and the the edge of the screen does hit you, I believe that is an, an instant failure, so you do want to be very careful and pay attention to that. Uh, you know, that, that has not been a problem for me, but I, I haven't but I haven't uh, talked about it either, so it's something that I just, you know, figured I should mention. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, what the... Well... That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to make sure I wasn't going to run into anything. Well, there we go. We can just hang back and uh, let everything else take the damage for us. So we can see just how many uh, leveling up items that there are around here. So you really don't, you know, you don't have to really focus too much on trying to to gain the maximum level really early on except these these are all the these are the only leveling up items that you'll have so you do want to you do want to uh, be careful oh there we go I didn't expect it to fall that quickly but I really wasn't paying attention to how much health uh, it had either to be totally honest, but that ain't too bad. Uh, under nine minute, or well, I guess a, around a nine minute uh, and a handful of seconds uh, for a job, that ain't too bad, especially for level level five. job so this one's gonna take a while as well if 
I'm not mistaken, because this is the sixth job, but I may be confusing the sixth job with the... Nope, that's the right job. Okay, that's things. Air smash while in the air, press triangle. Moving pickpocket, definitely useful with Bentley. But, uh, hopefully this won't take too long, uh, because I'm, I'm not looking around for, uh, sly masks. I shouldn't waste a lot of time just wandering around for no reason. At least I hope, I hope, you know, I, you never, never really know, uh, especially because I haven't played this particular job in quite a while. Uh, you never know how, how it could go. And it, it, this is a, this is a pretty long job. It's not really a difficult job, it's just easy to get lost. Or at, at least it was for me. And, uh... So yeah, there you go. I still need to get that, uh... 500 item. Whether I get that on camera or not, I still, I still need to get it. Well... I already have the trophy for it, so I really don't need to focus on it uh, too much. You know, I would I would like to show it off just to to show what it is, but I don't have to get it. Uh, for but there is a trophy tied to this. But there is a trophy tied to it, so you will you will want to uh, focus on it if you can. Hopefully, there we go. I was hoping he would lose interest. Now there's two over here, this guy. And I can head back up there for that lizard. Hopefully this guy will have it. Ah, that stinks. Again, the scorpion tails. Sitting here wasting time doing this for no reason, but, uh, you know, like I said, I do want to show that off so I can get the timing down. But there's a, a cat. I'm getting money. I don't know what, what that was. I guess he was throwing sand on her. But I'm right here, so I'll just. Oh, it's up there, okay. Oh, that's, that's right, you can move around with the uh, tornado, which is definitely very useful. Uh, that's uh, That actually makes it a lot more useful than just standing still. get up there. Probably through this. Ah, crap. Ah, I was not paying attention. There we go. Hope I'll gain those coins. I guess I should have waited. But I didn't want to. I thought they would, uh, I would collect them a little bit faster.
So you can gain quite a lot of uh, coins here as well, just by breaking all all of the vases that are around. And there's a slime mask up there, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Let me see, how do I get up there? Ah, there we are. Alright, so... Head over here for the second one. Second one. Yeah, definitely very happy that uh, Sling has that gliding ability. This, this, this makes it so much easier to use him. Unlike some of the some of the other ancestors that were a little bit harder to control. I don't think I'm supposed to be. I don't. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be up there yet with uh, with anybody. And I'm gonna need to head back up. And I was hoping those fans would. I guess those fans are pointing down rather than coming up from the floor, so they would not uh, be able to lift me up any higher. Let me see. Ah, okay, I remember. I don't I don't remember exactly where to enter, but the entrance is on the bottom somewhere down here. There we go. Pretty sure there's a Pretty sure there's a slime mask around here somewhere as well, so to avoid getting that. Transmit these. That's wonderful. I'd forgotten about that particular. That, that's what makes this job so such a pain. Right but because he does have the bombs, you can and for whatever. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, I was gonna say, and for whatever reason, Miss Decibel doesn't hear the bombs. But you know, it's, of course, she's not gonna hear hear the bombs. That would make it too difficult if she could uh, hear the bombs. See, I think I need to head. There we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that stinks. Oh, I got the. I can throw. Yes, I can. That's useful. And thank that the bombs won't go off until I tell them to, so I can easily make them go off whenever I need to. Ah. Okay. Well, I was, wasn't sure if that was going to work or not, but. I wonder if I have to go and reactivate them all again. Oh no, I actually I just have to uh, get into position. Oh, I'm 
sitting here they're hit, hitting the wrong button. I no wonder. I should be able to. There we go. So I'll just. I can hear something scurrying around. I'll just get the timing down a little bit better. start again and then I'll and then just like run away again before I definitely heard something. I certainly have been lost in and there you go. That's uh Pretty simple, you know. You, if you notice, you can take out more than one with uh, one bomb. At least the first jump. Out, I think the last. I think the last two are just a little bit too far away to be able to do that. I don't believe she can hear these. She may. No. Okay, so that's useful. So you don't have to worry about those. And all I have to do is just stand on top. Uh, stand on top of this. This uh, pad here. And that will that will let you know that you are in range to shoot the Bingo. transmitters. Right and all you have to do is just get to that last one, which uh, hopefully should be the easiest one. I think the ones that I just went after were, well, the one on the bottom would probably be the easiest one. To, let's see. Okay, I guess I actually have to go in there. thought that might have been the place with the... I thought this this place might be the place with the uh, slime mask, but I don't guess so. I guess this is actually the way I'm supposed to go. Probably not, but yes, I'll do right hit. Now there you go. All right. Now I just have to activate those transmitters and get this party started. Careful. Well, there you go. And there you go. That's it. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, because the next job should be the heist if I've uh, counted all the jobs correctly. Since there is only seven, yeah, uh, that should be the uh, that that should have been the last job.
right, so uh, I'll see if I can find any uh, level information, or uh, but I don't, I don't think so. I think after uh, Rugrats, I don't believe there is any more level information. And there isn't. Yeah, that stinks. Well, hey, you know, like I said, I uh, do apologize. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Uh, but I'll go ahead and end the video here. I think you're watching the challenge of the video is how many uh, smoke bombs that I drop during Up and Smoke. I think you're watching. Next time we will start all rolled up. I'm not sure that's the operation or not. Uh, it, it may not be. But uh, we'll see you next in the next video. So until then, later, everyone.